So how are we all doing? Anybody feels like sharing anything from yesterday? Um, any kind of breakthrough or realization or whatever you feel like sharing? No, I can say something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've never been so in my silence before, you know? I'm just sitting there and everything is so cool and everything is so quiet. I'm just sitting there looking out of the window and looking at my neighbors and stuff and I really don't know what they are doing because I'm just sitting there. So the silence is so loud. That happened because of yesterday. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. It's the power of silence is beyond. Yes, it is. And it is, it is very addictive, you know. You just want to just sit there so I have to force myself to go to the grocery store and stuff, right? <laughs> exactly. The, uh, you can do things from silence if it's, you can operate and do things but what you're doing is coming from silence. Yes. So thank you. You're welcome. And what it is with silence is once it's discovered, it's contagious. It spreads like wildfire. So what it requires is one person who can stay in stillness and be silent. The magnitude of its power is beyond imagination. So a lot of times when I'm teaching, I really don't feel like teaching anything or saying any words. I just say it for you guys because I feel like you need to hear me saying something. So I just talk. But you leave me out on my own. I may go for days without saying a word. And understanding that aspect, the silence, once you start to understand it, and kind of groove and dive into it, then what happens is you begin to receive the power of silence. You begin to, you're not available for the transmission. So the transmission of love, of the moment, of the presence here. So we started our second day. Um, let me welcome everybody. Without, <laughs> we just dove into the juice without even beating, uh, beating around the bush. Whew. 
All right, so for those of you who are with us for the first time or you're on Facebook, um, this is the second day of our free online seven day global retreat, Rebirth a New You. So I'm Zaratustra, I'm your host. Feel free if you want to ask me a question. If you're on our system Zoom, you're just going to have to either type it in the chat box or uh, you can unmute yourself and ask me a question. Um, those of you who are on Facebook, I'm not able to communicate with you. So, cool. Let's continue our conversation from yesterday. So yesterday, just a quick brief up on it, was that rebirthing is not possible unless we come to terms with death. With death. death comes first, actually. So you have to experience death before you can rebirth. So that means you have to become okay with dying. You have to be okay with dissolving into not knowing. Death means not knowing. When you die, You don't know what's going to happen, so it's not knowing. So we can call it not knowing instead of death. So I'm going to share three different things with you today. And these three things, if you use them in your principle, in your spirituality, then these three things will set you free. So basically, all you have to do is to abide and to be dedicated to these three principles. So the number one is that the guru, the master, is always here. Okay, I want you to stop doing whatever you're doing, whatever that is, I don't care. And I want you to pay attention because I'm gonna say this one more time. And pay attention, okay? Because there are times that gems come out of my mouth, it's like really the gems. And you don't wanna miss that. So pay attention. Don't fool around with your cat, this, that, whatever. Put everything away. This is the most important thing right now than anything else in the world. Your freedom to become free. And you can't become free if you're a ding-dong. If you're acting like an idiot, then you're not free. That means you have to pay attention, you have to show up, you have to be dedicated, and you have to sacrifice. That's the price you pay. You can't be a ding-dong and expect to become free. You have to be like sharp, zen. So, number one is the master, is the guru. So the real one is within yourself, okay? Comprende? The real one is within yourself. I'm gonna say it one more time. I want you to pay attention. Please pay attention, okay? The real master, the guru, is within yourself. 